Today marks one year since the remnants of Hurricane Ida hit our area. The storm devastated parts of the tri-state and took dozens of lives. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge spoke to local and state officials who announced plans to make our region more resilient. This isn't an ordinary planter. Mayor Adams and local leaders simulated the effects of heavy rainfall to show how these curbside rain gardens can soak up flood water. They are a strong defense against flash flooding. Each one can absorb up to 2,500 gallons of water. There's now 11,000 installed citywide. The idea is to catch rain before it runs into the sewer, potentially overflowing into residents' basements. With so much concrete um, in the city and um, but the water has nowhere to go. Since they've put in these, uh, these things here, it's, 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 it's helped out a lot. On the anniversary of Ida, a moment of silence to acknowledge the lives lost. 13 New Yorkers uh, died uh, in their basement apartments uh, due to flooding. Uh, this traumatized our city. The record rainfall also stranded motorists and caused billions of dollars in damage. It was like really bad. I was like, oh my gosh. I would do anything necessary to prevent that from happening again. The city is also installing 500 flood sensors. They look like surveillance cameras and can alert the public to move to higher ground or tell the city if a road needs to be closed. Now these rain gardens as well as the flood sensors are just a few of many steps the city is taking as part of a longer term infrastructure plan. New York City is also investing $2.5 billion to upgrade sewers. It's clear we need miles upon miles of new sewer and water mains. And New York State is investing $41 million in Ida recovery. I'm not buying these 100-year vents. I'm saying our climate has changed. New Jersey is supporting a $283 million program. 30 of our fellow New Jerseyans were killed even a year on. We're still tallying up the dizzying costs of total damages. All levels of government shoring up infrastructure, saying it's not a matter of if, but when the next climate disaster hits. In South Ozone Park, Queens, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. In all, 51 people in the tri-state area died, 32 in New Jersey, 18 in New York State, and one in Connecticut. In all, 91 people in nine states lost their lives. And we have continuing coverage of the one-year anniversary of Ida hitting our area.